Do you often feel like something always goes in the wrong direction? Exactly opposite as you have planned. Is there a pull in your life that keeps you from God? Do you often feel like the way and the path you choose always blocks your growth either mentally or physically? Dear child of God, let me tell you that you are not alone. Many other children also feel like this at some point in their lives. Sometimes God places roadblocks and warning signs in our way intentionally not to threaten us but to prevent us from the big harm that we might face if we continue our journey to that path. But today I want you to ask a question from yourselves that do you follow the word and the voice of God? Hebrews chapter 3 verse 14 says, For we are made partakers of Christ, if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end, while it is said, Today if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts, as in the provocation. Dear child, God always speaks to us through numerous ways. Sometimes He will talk to you through the holy words written in the Bible. Sometimes He will talk to you through the signs and your answered prayers. And sometimes He will talk to you through such messages as this one now. He will always let you feel His presence and hear his still small voice. But many of us are still not sensitive to his words and his voice. The voice that goes directly into your spirit to guide you with his divine guidance. Never forget that God has written Bible not for himself but just for you. If he wasn't intended to guide you in all your steps, he would have never gave us the Holy Scripture. But most of his children are busy in the daily routine so much that they don't like hearing sermons or giving time to hear the message of God. The Bible has already mentioned this that the people will start beginning to change. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers, having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. My question is, are you one of them? Ask yourself this question by looking up in the mirror that are you the one among those who will fulfill this prophecy? Nowadays, we have so many so-called believers who has made their hearts harden and therefore they are allowing and making themselves vulnerable to the attacks of the devil. The devil is always looking for such kind of people and he throws his evil thoughts into their minds. He aims to plant thoughts that take our minds from God and the Lord Jesus Christ. The people who often ignores the word of God get easily caught up in the trap of the devil and they start thinking negative. They start creating doubt and even they start doubting about the existence of God. 
It is the devil who is always trying to make us reach that state of evil thinking. And only the word of God can save you from this devastating thing. There is a miraculous power in the word of God that can soothe your soul. Your mind is a battleground that Satan attacks day and night. Only by welcoming, memorizing, meditating and mobilizing the word of God in your lives, you will see a renewing of your mind. Unlike God, the Almighty, Satan is not all-knowing and neither is he all-powerful nor all-present. The scripture says that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against the rulers, the authorities, the powers of the darkness of this world and the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. The Bible has the answer to your every single problem and difficulty you will face in your life. You must keep this in mind that we are living in the end days and the Antichrist spirit is preparing the world and the church for his coming. Today, God is warning you to not to ignore his words because doing this will take you away from him to the eternal darkness. Therefore, instead of ignoring God's voice and hearing the lies of the devil, we all must pray. Whenever it seems like you are getting into the wrong direction, just go to God in prayer and ask Him for His guidance. Talk to Him. Being a child of God, you are out to pray. So, pray this now. O oh Lord, my God, help me to trust you with my decisions and my future. Let me lean on you with all my heart instead of relying on my own imperfect understanding. Give me clear guidance in my life, Lord, as I submit myself to you. I know that you will direct my paths and I can have confidence that your direction is always the best way to go. Heavenly Father, I promise that I will share this video and your holy words. I boldly confess that I have received your warning, as it is not to threaten me, but to prevent me from falling. I also promise that I will never let your words be limited to my ears and my eyes alone. Rather, I will share them everywhere as it is possible for me. Lord. It is my will that your work should be glorified through me and therefore I will share this message with as many people as possible. Father, I have come to you today with all my sins, my burdens and my addictions. Wash me in the precious blood that Jesus shed for me when he died on the cross. Break the chains of sin and of Satan in my life and my family. I surrender to you and I want to be yours. I put my faith in you alone, Lord Jesus Christ. You are the only begotten Son of the living God. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, Amen.